Hey everyone, it's Lynn from the Stitch TV Show. Um, I just wanted to show you, really, it's a question of, I saw on the internet the other day, someone was having a rough time reading their ruler and didn't know what the lines meant. So I thought I would just do a quick overview of just explaining how to measure five eighths. You know, sometimes if you're not used to reading a ruler, then that can be frustrating. So um, I, one of our patterns that we just did, this is one of those um, color lectures that Pam and I did. So this is the second block in the lecture called the cheese cake block and um, in it you need squares that are two and three eighths so and you also need one that is two and five eighths so I thought I'd just go over how to cut one of those um, so anytime I cut anything I always just square up one side I think you guys have seen me do this before that way I know I have a straight line right I know that that is straight because I've cut uh, right on the edge of that so yay okay so now that I have a straight line then I'm gonna cut I'll start with the first one it's two and three eighths so this is second nature to me right now but here's what I want to show you all right so if you're looking at your ruler and I just blew it up here so that you could see uh, the first thing you're doing is, this is your one inch line, so one inch, right? Okay, so half of that is right here, which is a little bit longer line on most of the um, rulers that you have. Now, sometimes you have something like this, so it's just a tiny bit longer than some of these other lines. That is the halfway mark. So this is half of one inch so that's one and a half that's one half right okay so and when you split those two up that's your quarter inch line and this is your quarter inch line so if I'm measuring that this is my bottom that's a quarter inch this is a half inch three quarter inch because I'm measuring from here and then that's my full inch now where it gets kind of crazy are these little lines right here. These are your eighth inch lines, right? So, but in order to count the eight inch, so if I need, you know, three eighths inch, I'm looking at this and I'm going one, two, three. So this would be three eighths line, okay? And then because this is a half and half is four, half of eight is four, this is all math, um, this is your five-eighths inch line, okay? Sometimes, and, and these are used in patterns, especially patterns that um, where you have to cut triangles or do stuff on the diagonal. So this, if this is five-eighths, that's six-eighths. We would call it three-fourths, really. It's a quarter-inch line, but it's three-fourths from the bottom, Right, so this is one eighth, one fourth, half, five eighths, three fourths. It's a quarter inch line, but it's three fourths from here. And then this is, of course, seven eighths. So that's your seven eighths inch line, and then that's your inch. So that's the difference. And the if you'll notice, the half is a little bit longer than the fourths, and then the eighths are longer, or shorter than any of them. So now here's where these kind of, I think, get confusing because the entire thing is a grid, and you really have to pay attention to which one you're talking about. Um, I have to admit, I've gotten so used to reading this ruler, I tend to use it more than I do this other one. That being said, this other one um, does allow you to see things um, keep it on grain or see it closer because they give you all this grid work to work with. The other thing about rulers that you may not know is they also can show you how to cut a 45 degree angle or a 60 degree angle or a 30 degree angle. And so what you would do is if I wanted to cut a 45 degree angle, then I would line up that 45 degree angle on the bottom. Let me scoot this up on the bottom 
So that's my 45-degree line. Do you see my 45-degree line right there? I would line that up on the bottom, and then I would cut, and I would know that this angle is a 45-degree angle. Same with 30, same with 60. And sometimes you have those. So your rulers can really do a lot of stuff. Um, I know that in some of our patterns we use the 45-degree angle. And most, um, most of your... See, this has 60, 45, 30. So it allows you to do if you need to cut it this way or if you need to cut that 45 degree this way. So you're still being able to use the ruler kind of thing. So if I was doing a, let me close this up. If I was doing two and three eighths, I'm going to measure two inches and then I'm going to go one, two, three. That's my three eighth line. And I'm just going to make sure that little line is lined up all the way down. Right? Da, da, da. And then I would cut this. It's kind of a bad glare. So maybe if I use purple, maybe purple will help. Let's trim it up. Of course, you always, I always trim. Like, I always trim. So if you fold it and you trim on a fold, you know that you're going to have a straight line. Okay, so that's that. So if I need to cut a 2 and 3 eighths strip, I can just line all of this up on that 1, 2, 3. That's my 3 eighths. If I were doing 5 eighths, I just go 1 past the, the halfway mark because 4 eighths is half. 4 of 8 is half. And then just 1 past that is 5. Six, although we would call six three quarters, and then seven eighths. So the really the ones you have to pay attention to is an eighth, which I rarely see people cut an eighth. I see people cut on the quarter inch line three eighths, um, five eighths every once in a while, and definitely seven eighths if you're doing triangles. A lot of times I'll tell you to cut on the triangle. I avoid that sometimes, and all new quilters, I just have them cut on the inch line if they're doing a triangle, a certain methods of triangles, um, and then just have them trim the triangle down. So that's actually how to read a ruler. Not everybody is comfortable doing that, so I just thought I'd give you all a tip on how to look at it. And um, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.